In the fall of 1970, Steve Wilkinson joined the Gustavus faculty as a religion professor, and sometime during that first semester on campus, athletics director Lloyd Hollingsworth got word that Wilkinson had played Division I tennis at the University of Iowa. Gustavus was in need of a men's tennis coach, and that next spring, Wilkinson was hired as the new coach for the Gusties. Little did anyone know that Wilkinson would build the Gustavus men's tennis program into the most successful program in the history of collegiate tennis over the next 39 years. Well, it changed my life, uh, no question about it, as a player, as a coach, as a, as a person on the court, off the court. Um, his approach to, to competing um, and his approach to, to being a human being um, changed for me, uh, changed everything. Changed the way I live, changed the way I compete, changed the way I coach. Um, and really gave me uh, the, the foundation for, um, for my career and my life. And, uh, and I know he'd done the same for, for many of my teammates and, and fellow members of the Gustavus Tennis family. After taking over the Gustavus Tennis program in 1971, Wilkinson's teams compiled an overall record of 929 and 279, a winning percentage of 768, and a Minnesota Intercollegiate Athletic Conference mark of 334 and 1. His 923rd victory, which came against Wartburg College last April, moved him past Jim Verdeek of the University of Redlands into first place with the most victories in the history of collegiate men's tennis. During his career, Wilkinson's squads won two NCAA Division III titles in 1980 and 1982, 36 MIAC titles, and posted 10 NCAA top four finishes. In addition, his players claimed six national doubles titles and four national singles titles. One of the things that uh, that I think you don't really understand about about Steve until you play for him and you've been on the road with him and uh, you know you've you've been the freshman who's had to stay with him in the in the hotel room and he's up uh, meditating and doing push-ups and sit-ups and his tidy whities at five in the morning when you when you roll over to uh, to to, <laughs> to try to get a little bit more sleep um, you don't realize how funny he is and you don't realize how um, uh, how in tune he is to the sense of humor of, of of his players. Steve Wilkinson coached 46 players to 87 All-America honors, including current ATP Tour player Eric Buderak, 103 players to 226 All-Conference honors, and he coached five COSIDA Academic All-Americans. Steve Wilkinson was named NAIA National Coach of the Year twice in 1974 and 1984, and Intercollegiate Tennis Association Division III Coach of the Year three times in 1983, 2001, and again in 2003. The thing to me that makes him so special uh, is, is that he, each time the, the chips are down and the rubber hits the road, whether it's in tennis or in life, um, he always is exactly who he teaches us to be and, and inspires us to be. Um, the most powerful thing about Coach is that uh, is his example, um, whether it's been the cancer of his wife or his own uh, challenges with cancer or a loss in the national championship or any other situation on and off the court. At those moments, he, he is exactly who he teaches us to be. And I think in, in all of coaching, there's no, there's no more powerful model, uh, no more useful teaching tool, uh, nothing more inspiring than that. And that's exactly, that's exactly who he is and what he is uh, all the time.